Good morning. Uh, I, I still kind of have my morning raspy voice because I woke up kind of late even though I don't like to, but it's good for me because I don't sleep very much during the week and yeah, it's good for me, but I don't like it. So excuse my weird <laughs> stuff. Um, but I really, I really felt strong to, to kind of share this message and it's, it's been hard to process. <laughs> it's been really hard to process through it all just because it's, it's brought up a lot of feelings and experiences that I've had to really look at and go through again, but it's been really special because I have felt so much healing. Um, and I still have a long, long way to go. Um, I don't, I don't believe that in this life I'll ever be fully healed, but God's love and God's plan and his promise is eternal. And so one day I, I know that, that everything will be just perfect and I won't have to have to hurt anymore but so th this video is not intended to be a hate video at all I it, it's not intended to be a hate video towards the rainbow or gay pride or any of that I, I actually really hope and pray that people will will be able to start their their own journey with with renewing their perspective on the rainbow and to see it how God intended for us to to see it and and to remember him when when we do see it because he gave it for for that purpose to remember him and the promise that that he has made with us but I'll I'll go more into that but I I really just hope that people will we'll learn to have a change of heart little by little and that, that they will be able to when they see the rainbow or anything with it that that the the first instinct isn't just to feel the the hatred or the the spies or or the hurt um, but to see god to remember his goodness and his mercy and his faithfulness <laughs> and one thing that I feel to to kind of express with this is that I I do not belong to the LGBTQ community. That's not that's that's not where where, where I fit in. That's not where I God God does not have this this separation and i've said this so many times before but he doesn't have the separation between the lgbtq community and the heterosexual community there's no such thing to god <laughs> the only thing that god sees us as are his children with divine potential uh, i i am not my feelings i am not things that i have felt i am not things that i do feel it's that that's not who I am who I am is is a daughter of heavenly parents and and Christ made me free to not be a slave to my feelings and so I'm not going to choose to identify myself with my feelings because I'm Christ and so I I, I don't belong to anything except Christ, Christ's family and God's kingdom. That's my place. Um, and that's if people want to want to identify with with whatever group they want to, that's OK. That's their choice. But I I don't. My, my feelings have nothing to do with who I am. But um, with with finding healing and renewing my perspective on the rainbow 
So I, d I didn't realize how much I was hurt and affected um, by just seeing the rainbow until this last June. <laughs> I didn't know that June was Pride Month. I, I didn't even know that was a thing. Good. I I stay out of the world. I it's it's not good for my heart at all. <laughs> so um it was the last Sunday in May and I was in my living room in the morning. I I I call it my office, but it's just I just use one of the the chairs like the the like the I don't know the, the nice chairs as my desk and I just have a retractable little cam camping chair that I that I just pull up and I read and do everything there basically always and so this Sunday morning I I was reading and then I looked up and the neighbors across the street um they had just put up this big rainbow flag and it was so hard it, it was uh, I just felt this immediate just crumbling inside and just the, like like a panic attack basically and and I had my, my aunt and uncle and grandma in the room and so I, I felt like I like I didn't want to draw attention to myself so I kind of just prayed for a second and just kind of gathered my stuff and I went to my room and and just cried and just prayed and and it was really hard and I realized that it it was not healthy at all <laughs> and the first week of June was so hard it, it was pretty awful but it was also really special to see how Heavenly Father works he's always working always 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 and and but but it got to the point where I was like okay I can either just try to be tough and and just push away my my sad and hurt feelings or I can actually look to God and find a way to heal to renew these feelings so that when I see when I see the rainbow, that it's not just this this feeling of hurt, and and so I started to I I decided that I would learn more about the rainbow, and what it actually means, and it it's been so cool to to forget what the world has made the rainbow, and to go back to God, and so. Um oh, I guess we'll just we'll just read in in Genesis chapter nine. So this is when um Noah ha was commanded to build the ark, so he built it and God caused a flood to happen and he cleaned the whole earth, he wiped it out. Um basically like a baptism. And so after that, um God well, there was a rainbow in the sky, and God says this. This is Genesis chapter 9, verse 12. It says, And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall, it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud. And I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token, of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. Um, I just think it's very interesting how he, it, it basically says kind of the same thing over and over, but just sometimes it's it's more deep and using different words. Um, <clears throat> but I really just this was really cool, just reminding over and over that that 
the rainbow is to remind us of God's everlasting covenant. And as I was learning more about the everlasting covenant, because you hear all the time, like the new and everlasting covenant of marriage. And so, but, but marriage, the covenant of marriage, the sealing of marriage is not the everlasting covenant. It is one of the everlasting covenants. Same with baptism and, and um, going through the temple for the endowments. And, and so, so those are the, Th those are covenants that, that pertain to the everlasting covenant. But the everlasting covenant um, is the sum of the fullness of the gospel. All of the ordinances and covenants um, the Heavenly Father has prepared and, and placed from ancient times and then restored in these latter days through Joseph Smith. And so just reading that and understanding that that's... That's really what it all means. And, and, and that I can remember God's faithfulness and his mercy that he, he will never leave. And I guess just kind of explaining why I felt so much hurt with the rainbow. Um, I, I really, the rainbow didn't really have any significance to me until... Um, until last summer, a little over a year ago, when some s symbols and, and, and uh, of unity and loyalty and real love and caring in a friendship um, started to be replaced with rainbow, and and it started to to feel like the rainbow and gay pride was more important than my friendship. And so th that was really hard, but I, I was kind of just like, okay. Um, but then some, some things more happened and it kind of started to feel like, like the rainbow was cared about more than me, not just my friendship, but me as a person, me being in, in people's lives. And so it just became just a, a symbol of hurt and and so it's been really special to to read about this and to remember that I'm not forgotten that I'm cared about that every time I see the rainbow I think I can think of God and that he he remembers us and he's prepared everything from the beginning for us in these days and something just really special that kind of happened during this this time this last year um my brother Jonas he he knew um a good amount of what I was going through and and one 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 morning I just I got this random text from him and he said as I was trying to fall back asleep after consoling Tatum I started thinking about you this thought came to me when I was thinking about you, but I believe I could use it in my life as well. Don't worry too much about being the perfect you. Have confidence that you're being the best you and understand that's enough for Heavenly Father. Take one day at a time and embrace each moment. Um, and ever since then, I I made it my, my phone background with a... <laughs> with a little image of you've got a friend in me and it's just been really special to to remember that that heavenly father sees my efforts he sees your efforts and he's so proud of you and just keep taking one day at a time and i love how jonah said embrace each moment because you never know when when life is going to change and and God is always working for our good especially when there's a scripture that says um, everything ha everything is uh, I, don't, I can't remember the exact but it's like everything 
God works for, for good always for those who love him. And, and he's always working good, no matter if, if we choose not to love him and keep his commandments and follow him. But, but especially when, when we are looking to him, that things that happen in our lives that seem unfair or are hurtful, that, that he, he can transform it into something beautiful. There's a song that, that talks about beauty in the tragedy. That's what it's called. And, and it really is so true that God can take so much hurt and pain and sadness and turn it into something beautiful. And, and it's, he's not saying like the, the sadness isn't going to go away completely or hurt, but that we can find joy and happiness and beauty as we remember him, his faithfulness. His, his everlasting covenant that he will never leave us or forget us. And <laughs> I really just, I hope you know that God sees you, he knows you, he has not forgotten you at all. And even if you've done things that have caused him hurt or others pain, and, and that also has caused you hurt and pain, that he, it doesn't matter. <laughs> He loves you and he just wants you to come to him so that he can transform your heart. And he will. <laughs> he he really will. And I I I really just I I hope people just show more love and compassion towards one another. And that when when we see each other, we see each other as as children of heavenly parents. And and when we see ourselves, we see ourselves in their image and and with their their divinity our divine potential inside of us and not what the world says that we are and i say that in the name of jesus christ amen <laughs>